Okay, so we're here with Stephen Foskett, is it? That's right. Okay. And uh, now, Stephen, what do you have in your hands and why is it uh, significant? Well, I got eight terabytes of storage in my hands. Um, there was a time that you'd need an enterprise storage array to have this much storage. In fact, there was a time that uh, this was considered ludicrously large, but today, Best Buy. So, uh, yeah, so this is the Western Digital Easy Store. Um, they have a couple different lines, um, but the Easy Store is kind of famous among storage nerds like me because allegedly it has one of their Western Digital Red uh, NAS drives inside it. So, um, for a decent amount of money, I got this for $179 on sale at Best Buy. Uh, actually, they didn't have it at the store, so I had to mail order it. But um, yeah, so you uh, basically open the thing up and you get out the uh, eight terabyte NAS drive, which is worth about 350 bucks online. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's take a look, let's see what we got here. We will. The moment of truth. The moment of truth, yeah. Well, the moment of truth is when we open it up and see if it is actually a red drive or if it's one of their um, more ordinary drives. And now what would differentiate a red, like specifically differentiate a red drive uh, and make it worth a little extra money. <clears throat> so uh, the red drive is designed for NAS use, so it's designed for to run 24 by 7 for one thing. Um, the big thing though is that um, basically they uh, turn off a lot of the error correction, um, which seems like a bad idea, but it's actually a good idea in NAS because if you're using um, you know, Z ZFS or RAID, um, it's better to just have the drive just give up and say, forget it, I don't know what this data is supposed to be than it is for the drive to spend, you know, 20, 30 seconds trying to reread and, and recalculate. Um, truthfully, there's not a lot of hardware difference between um, Western Digital's various eight terabyte drives. So this could have what's known as a blue or a green drive in it, or it could have a Hitachi um, eight terabyte helium drive in it. And they're all um, pretty much the same from what I understand in terms of hardware. So, um, but the red has the right firmware in it. So here we go, we got the Easy Store uh, packaging. Uh, this is almost identical to the MyBook packaging and um, they've used this for a long time. So I'm gonna grab a tool and we're gonna see if we can open it up. All right, so let's see if we can open these guys up. I've used these for a long time, um, so I've actually gotten used to them. Um, essentially, uh, you know, it's self-contained contained drive. It's got a USB 3 um, a t port there, and it's got a DC 12 volt port there. I have a whole drawer full of these things because basically this is how I get all my um, hard drives for, you know, the experiments that I'm doing. Um, essentially, there's two latches um, inside the case on each side. There's two here, and then there's two on the other side, and they're kind of offset from each other. So what, what we have to do is we just have to loosen up the just have to find the latches and then loosen them up. Oh, there's one. There's two. And then we're gonna pull this thing out, but um, actually it's uh, sometimes a little, uh, a little tough to, to get all four latches at once. I may have to bring in another tool. Where's the other latch? And half the time I break them, but since I'm actually not going to use this case anyway, it doesn't really matter because you, uh, you know, yeah, I broke one <laughs> because, you know, like I said, I've got a whole pile of these uh, old Western Digital cases at home. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slide this out. Here we go. Okay. Moment of truth. So we're just going to slide this open. And we're going to see what kind of drive we got in here. There you go. Wow. Western Digital Red NAS Higher Drive. So um, essentially, there's a few different models of Western Digital. The EFZX is the proper red NAS drive. And these actually come from uh, Hitachi. Uh, Western Digital owns Hitachi. And um, so these are actually um, really nice, um, really nice drives, advanced format. They're not uh, shingle drives, they're perpendicular drives. Um, and I don't believe that they're helium drives but I suppose they could be. Anyway, so there we go. Western Digital Red NAS Drive. Now to get the rest of the way out of here, I'm just gonna pull it out. And then there's just one screw to remove to remove it from the, uh, 
controller. Basically, they ship it with this cheap, uh, cheap and cheerful USB 3 and power controller. And so all we have to do is remove one screw. You can pull this off of here. Pull this off of here. Set that aside. And we're almost down to having a bear drive. Wow. So here. Um, I'm just used a standard Phillips head screwdriver here. These guys are um, Torx bits, so luckily my handy dandy cyber tool has Torx, and that's easy enough to remove. This is actually called the cyber tool. I didn't just make that up. And now we have. Ah, this one's trying to escape. And now we have a ready to use. NAS hard drive. And there we go. So there we have it. We've got three Western Digital NAS drives. Um, it's pretty cool that you can get these um, for you know a hundred dollars off. Um, Best Buy puts them on sale, um, you know, every few weeks. So just watch out for them uh, going for one seventy nine. Um, the uh, but look for the Easy Store, not the My Book. Um, the MyBook is more expensive and apparently it doesn't include the red drives, it includes a different model. And you'll see people complaining on Amazon and Newegg that they'll bought, they bought an 8 terabyte Western Digital USB drive and it came with something that's not a red. But um, if you read closely, you'll see that pretty much everybody who buys them from Best Buy and everybody who gets the Easy Store named drive gets a red drive inside. So that's a pretty cool way to get it. Thanks Rich for uh, filming this, Mystery Anthropology on Twitter. And um, I'm Stephen Foskett. You can find my blog at blog.foskitts.net, and you can find Rich and me at gestaltit.com.